All right, there's three stocks that we traded today in the chat room that have kind of interesting charts still. Um, I'm an intraday stock trader. I don't hold overnight, but uh, Yoku still looks pretty strong. This is one of them. Um, however, you did have what was support back here, and it's coming up into that, and it's you know it's just recently broken above this level. So I kind of think this one's due for a rest, but on an intraday basis, this gave a great setup today. Um, you know, it, I had this kind of on my radar, but really wasn't doing anything with it, and then all of a sudden you get this volume spike. So then it really lands on the radar. And when it comes down and gets this what we call shape change to the between the greens area, if you will, these two green moving averages. Um, and another interesting thing that made this even a little bit more compelling is it was kind of retesting a couple of these uh, earlier highs uh, from Friday afternoon and then from this morning, right? And it's come down to that. And you sort of had that shape change we look for, but we had a strong daily. So I looked for a turn back up right here and called this in the chat room over 23.42 with a stop at 23.37. So it was only six cents risk. And ended up going um, all the way to uh, over 23.90. I think it went, it went to 23.93. So 50 cent move in our favor, but um, it's just a great setup to learn. Right there between the greens, retesting a couple uh, areas of previous resistance. Really nice turn up for us on Yoku. Another one um, on the daily chart that looks really good is Micron. Like I said, Yoku might need a rest. Sorry about all those lines, but uh, Micron MU, um, you know, it's been in a range and nice volume at the open today. And now it's back up to the top of the range. If you watched my video last night, I was looking for a long um, down at the bottom of this range around 31. Well, it gapped up today instead. So here's how we played it instead. This is what it looked like 15 minutes in. These are five minute candles. So you had just consecutive lower highs. I loved the volume at the open. Um, and again, this is an extremely strong chart. So you had great volume, um, consecutive lower highs, kind of consolidating there. And I just called it long over this little red candle, uh, 3225 with a stop below this red candle, 3214. And it was up from there all day. Um, went all the way up uh, through 33 at one point, uh, 80 cents a share above our entry. And I did call for a sell at the whole number 33 because that was previous resistance. So my crown was very nice, but keep this one on your radar. It gave a great day trade, but it's up basically sitting at um, new highs. I don't know if it's new all-time highs. No, <laughs> but new any time, any recent past highs. How's that? So um, keep MU on watch. And then KNDI um, is the other one that's just flirting with new recent highs here. Um, the high back here. 14.47 on Friday it hit 14.60 today it hit uh, 14.48 so KNDI um, is really worth a look here up over these recent highs now on an intraday basis this is what it looked like uh, about 15 minutes in and if you watch my video from the weekend um, I had talked about this big move that it made on Friday even though it gave a lot of it back that this was worth watching today um, and so there's the opening five minute high and you had uh, you know a couple lower highs. I just called this one, I actually wanted this one to break the high of the day. So I, I called it on a high of day break with a low of day stop, okay? Um, Cause it's a little bit of a trickier trader and I wanted it to prove itself first. So this one, um, the long idea was 1394. Um, and you can see, see the volume coming down the high of day break. And uh, almost got through Friday's high as well, but it went it went as high and, and, and really went sideways most of the rest of the day. But into that first pop from 1394, I uh, went to 1448. So over 50 cents in our favor, um, you know, obviously without hitting the stop. So those were three nice ones, and I think all of them deserve to be watched tomorrow. KNDI um, and MU are a little more interesting to me than YOKU, um, just because I'm a little concerned about uh, what was previous support there around 24. Um, but YOKU still looks like it, it's got higher prices going forward. Um, and that's it. That's, that's the ones I've got. I'm going to get off to here and I've got a couple things I got to do. And then I'm going to search for more chart setups um, that we'll be looking at in the morning. But there's a few I want to get started with. So these three will be on watch um, and I'll add to it shortly. All right, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow.